Hey guys, I'm here today to talk to you about the Canon 5D Mark I. I got this camera about seven months ago when I was in Europe. I'm just using a standard 50mm 1.8 lens on it. It's a great lens for any camera, but um, this was the first uh, full frame DSLR Canon bought out and for the $210 I paid for it when you convert it back to Australian dollars, the best camera you can easily get. You know, you got a full frame sensor, like amazing image quality, as long as you shoot under 400 ISO it's good, otherwise it's issues. It's got a standard, you know, you flash shoe, you got shutter speeds, you got bulb, and then you've got 30 second expo long exposures all the way to 1 8,000th of a second. It's got numerous great white balances. Um, it's a very basic camera, like there's not many features, but the features they have are great, like compared to today's standards. It's a very basic camera, it's like a film camera, there's this, the basics, it's all you really need, especially if you just want to learn the basics and get into like manual photography, it's a great camera. The only downside I'd really say is you do get a lot of noise quite often if it's not like directly sunny and the really small screen, I believe it's a 2.5 or 3 inch screen, one or the other, and it's quite a low resolution screen so that's my only really downside. It takes a compact flash card up to 128 gig or 64, so it's one of those two, it's not too bad. Um, a downside, because it is 2018 now, is the batteries it takes are really hard to find if you want to get a genuine Canon one, and if you do, they you know, from 2003 onwards, I believe it was, and the Canon 10D, it's all the same battery, so it's a B P11, I think, that actually says, BP511, yeah, oh. Yeah, it'll be the BP-511, but this is an aftermarket one made by Hanel, H-A-H-N-E-L. So that was like $20 when I went to London, I got it at the same shop as the camera. But you can buy them on eBay like dirt cheap and the chargers come with it too. You can get like two or three batteries for like $50 with two chargers or a dual charger. So you get a great deal on that. So I'm going to be going out now and just skating around looking for some cars, just taking photos of like parked cars, just some nice Japanese cars, so if you like JDM cars, you're going to love this, so let's get into that. Alright guys, so now we're in a test of the Canon 5D Mark 1, so we're just around all the car dealerships around here, so we're just going to be getting a couple of photos with some JDM styled cars mainly, so we've got a nice Honda Accord here, so... That's quite nice. I'm gonna bump down the shutter speed. That is very nice. I'm just looking at the fitment on that, and it is like mint. So yeah, just gonna skate along and see what there is. I just stumbled across a nice skyline, just casually. <laughs> well, I'm shooting JPEGs today just because I've got very lazy today and I don't currently have a setup that can do raw images so that's pretty shitty. 370Z, that is a mint looking car, very mint, Got the Toyota 86, another mint car, I always go around dealerships because they're fucking lit for your Netflix, and nothing really more here. There's a WRX just down here, which I really want to photo off, and then there's a Toyota Sora, nice V8, and what might have been a Toyota Chaser, so, yeah, and then, 
just so I remember now, I'm using a 50mm 1.8 lens, although I'm probably going to be cutting out half this stuff, so I'm probably not even going to have this audio in there, so that is sick. We do, we do, we don't, we don't, we'll see. <laughs> Two nice vehicles just here. One is a Honda Legend. This is mint. And you got your Toyota Sora. You can never go wrong with the Sora. Like that is just mint. So, you gotta get a Honda flip. The Honda Accord, yep. And there we go, we're gonna go to the next spot, get some more clips, and yeah. I just spotted a Supra. You go out to take photos and casually find a dream car. I don't know if you can see that. This is good because we're in low light. Look at that. P plate, so it's a P plate lead. Super. Fuck, that's a bit of inspiration. I'm just gonna go out and take photos and see what JDM cars I can find for a vlog. Alright, I got a. This is my all time favourite car. Like, if I could have one of those. Fuck, look at that. That is just. No. Would do anything to sell one, get one of them. guys so back from the ride now just put the flicks and the photos in a second ago so I'm gonna put a link I've got a car Instagram now I'm gonna put a link to that in the description as well as my normal one and I'll also put my photography one because a lot of the shots I've taken on my sports page were taken on this at least half of them and my, my, all my portraits were so all my athletic stuff I take on my 700D which I'm videoing with now but overall you know, it's a great camera. If you can pick one up if you're in Australia for under like... They're going for about s anywhere from 300 through to $600. If you can pick one up for under 450 go for it. I know Michael's cameras in Melbourne, in the city, on Elizabeth Street. They have one with a one-year warranty, and that is $799, but you get a warranty. So if the camera, like, carks itself, you're set. And as these cameras are from, like, 2000 and to 2006 I think don't quote me on that they're old like they're 15 years old almost so you know they're a good camera snap them up while you can get them they take all Canon EF lenses like yes so go out there and buy one if you want a great if you want to get into the full frame world instead of getting a shitty little like Canon I don't know 1300D or whatever there is now for that Otherwise, yeah, the only other option would be like a 700D or a 70D or an 80D, whatever, up to like a 200D, so, because obviously, if you're watching this, you probably don't want to spend four grand on a proper 5D Mark III, 5D Mark IV setup. So like I got this, like I said, really cheap, and I also got a 24 to 105 for $400, so like, for a grand, I could get 
5 D Mark 1 body, 50 mil 1.8 and 24 to 105 all second hand. But the Len 50 is brand new, so good deal to me. So yeah, I'm going to leave it there. Make sure to check out a few of my vlogs. And tomorrow's vlog is going to be one that I've been waiting to film for a very long time. So stay tuned. Have a lovely day and subscribe. Thank you very much. Have a lovely day.